Hi students, we are about to continue our problems with respect to this exercise. So, this is nothing but your exercise 19A. In that first, add or evaluate. Add in the sense you are just going to do addition. If you have in between subtraction, you can do that also. The thing is just simplification is required. Evaluate is also nothing but simplification. Okay? Please look at the problem students. Yeah. In some problems they might be given easierly the light terms, in some problems they won't be given a uh, light term, they have to be given a light term. So first, you have 2xyz, xyz, 6xyz. How will you write now? You will write 2xyz plus xyz plus 6xyz. All the terms are same, xyz, xyz, xyz. All the three terms are same, it is light term. So 2, if you don't have anything, it is to be considered as 1. Please understand. If you don't have anything, sign is plus. The number is nothing but 1. Okay? For example, if you have x, it is nothing but 1. Yes. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 6 is 9. So 9, x, y, z. Do you understand, students? We don't have anything here. For that reason, I have taken as 1. So 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 6, 9, x, y, z. Coming up for this, see here, again, write down the sign, 2a plus 3a plus 4b. Say students, I got it a, a and b. These two are like terms and this is not a like term, it is unlike term. Why? Here you have a, a and here you have b. Done? Yes. First you need to gather out the like terms and you can solve it. So 2 plus 3, 5, 8. You cannot solve this unlike term, so I have kept it as it is. You could have asked, sir, here you got 9 x, y, z. Why you have got this? Why you know, students? Here everywhere it is the like terms. Here two are the like terms. One is the unlike term. For that reason, I have written it like this. Understood, students? Yes. Coming up for the next problem. Now it is like nothing but 5m plus 3m plus 4p. Can you see student this? M, N, P. It is unlike terms. It is what? Unlike terms. Done? Yes. Next. I will just write this question here. Like I write it here. So that I can save my board. So that I can solve much problems for you. See again you have, if it is like what? Minus 3b and in the sense plus minus b. Why I have written bracket? So that it should not mix. It should look good for you. It should not be in the form of confusion. And yes. So minus 3b plus c to minus minus b. What do you have? Same sign, it is addition. 3, if you don't have any number, it is considered as 1. So it is nothing but 4b. At plus, writing the sign is of bigger value sign. Writing the sign is of bigger value sign. Done students? Yes. What I have done? First, I have written it. Plus into minus is minus, minus b. Minus into minus is plus 3, plus 1 is 4. The bigger value sign is 3 and the large sign is 1 minus, 
So 2b minus 3b is what? Is nothing but we don't have anything. Plus plus into minus is minus. 3 minus 2 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. I have not written 1 because it is indicated that it is 1 itself. Which is the bigger number? 2 bigger or the 3 bigger? 3 bigger. What is the sign of 3? It is minus. Minus. Done? You will be having now. Sir, 2 minus 3 is 1. Sir, why you have not written 1? Because students, it is indicated that if we don't have any number, it is to be written as 1. If we don't have any number beside the variable, it is indicated that it is 1. Coming up for this again, plus into minus, minus 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 b. What is the sign you will write? The sign which is bigger, 4 bigger or 1 bigger, 4 bigger. What is the sign? It is nothing but plus. So minus b plus 3 b is your answer. Do you understand students what I have done? I have classified into two, two groups. If you don't have anything, you have to consider it is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. And again it is a minus 4 minus 1 is 3. So the bigger value is 4. I have written it here. What? Plus 3. Done. Now look at the students here. Again they have got 1, 2, 3, 4. It is jumbled. Okay. It is mixed up. You are going to classify the like terms as well as unlike terms. Classify that way. See, first I have 8x here, minus 3x here. I will write it. 8x minus 3x. Next, minus 5y plus 10y. You will be having the observed. They have given both like term as well as unlike terms. First, I have taken like terms, then I have taken unlike terms. First, I have grouped like this or that for that reason. Now, we don't have anything, it is plus. Plus into minus, minus 8 minus 3, 5 x. What is the sign? Big value is nothing but plus. Next, plus into minus, minus 10 minus 5, 5, 5x1. Five what is the sign? 5 not x1, it is 5y1. 5y1. Okay. What is the sign? Which is bigger? 10 is bigger. So it is nothing but plus. So these are the problems that you are going to solve in this exercise. This is literally a con tricky part for you. If you understand the concept that is fundamental operation that feels you so easy, you will be having a lot of time. Please just start doing these problems. You will get it. Watch the video at least for two to three times so that you will understand. Okay, prepare for the exam in the March, during the March month will be have an exam. So we will continue the next problem in the next class. Till then, take care.